Hi, my name is Yui. I'm happy to be a guide for you in this series. We aim to bring the knowledge of the Microsoft security products for you so that you can understand and apply these technical configurations for your real business. After going through how to secure the user's identity on the identity layer, now we will move to a second layer of the zero trust model, which is the devices. In this video, you will learn how to manage devices with Microsoft Endpoint Manager. You will see how to manage devices in role in the Intune service, enforce compliance with policies, and protect your organization's data. This is the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Endpoint Manager is a single integrated endpoint management platform to keep the data secure on all your devices and it is where you will find Microsoft Intune. As an IT admin, you can use Microsoft Intune to manage the devices that your organization's workforce uses for mobile device management or MDM. To get started, select devices. This view shows a visual snapshot of the enrolled devices, how many devices are using the different platforms, and more. Next, select all devices. Here you can see a list of the specific enrolled devices you manage, and you can export the data in this view to a .csv file. In this case, we won't continue this with the export. And you can view additional information about any device in the list. Let's select the first device in this list to view more details. Here you can see the key properties of their device, such as ownership, serial number, primary users, and more. At the top of the pane are actions you can perform on this device, such as retiring or within it. In this case, we will restart it. Select Yes to acknowledge the notification and continue. The restart is now pending. Let's move on and view other details for the device. Select Hardware. Here you can see details about the device hardware, starting with the system identifiers, the operating system, and version, storage, space, and more. Scroll down the page to review other information, including network details and conditional access settings. Next, select Discover Apps. If Intune files apps installed on the device, the name and version of each app will be displayed here. For personal devices, Intune never collects information on unmanaged apps. And for corporate devices, Intune will collect information on all apps, whether or not they are managed. Next, select Device Compliance. In Intune, compliance policies have protect organizational data by requiring users and devices to meet specific requirements. This list solves on compliance policies assigned to the device and whether the device is compliant with each policy. Next, select Device Configuration. This list solves on the device configuration policies assigned to the device and if each policy is successive or fail. Next, select App Configuration. This list shows all the app configuration policies assigned to the device and if each policy is successive or fail. Next, select Endpoint Security Configuration. Here you can see the endpoint security configurations applied to the device. Next, select Recovery Key. Any available big locker keys found for the devices will show up here. Next, select Manage Apps. This is the list of managed apps that Intune has configured and deployed on the device. Now that we have reviewed the information for this device, let's see how to enroll such devices in the Intune service. This overview page shows the enrollment status of all your devices. And to visit the specific devices, select the platform. We will select Windows. This field shows on the enrolled Windows devices you manage. Next, select Windows Enrollment. 
there are a number of ways a Windows 10 PC can be enrolled into Intu by users or admins. And to enable a single step process for users, let's select automatic enrollment. Here you can configure Windows devices to enroll automatically when users add their work account to the personally owned devices or join corporate owned devices to Azure Active Directory. Next, let's look at iOS enrollment manager. Select iOS. Next, select iOS enrollment. Here you can see the different enrollment types for iOS, which are different from the enrollment methods we just saw for Windows 10. And to look at compliance policies for iOS devices, select compliance policies. Select the policy to view more details. This screen provides an overview of the policy and the policy apply status. To manage the policies, select Robotics. Here you can review and edit the Robotics for these policies. Let's review these policies settings. You can select a category for configure its settings. So you can select System Securities. Scroll down to review the security detail. You can configure for device enroll in Intel. Now that we review the compliance policies, let's look at the configuration policy profiles for iOS devices. Select configuration profiles. And with configuration profiles, you can create and customize device restriction settings based on your organization's needs. After you create a profile, you can push or deploy it to devices in your organization. Now let's look at Android enrollment method. For Android devices, you can set up devices with one of these Android Enterprise solutions. Android Enterprise so supports the most up-to-date and secure management features for personal and company-owned devices. And to enable these features in your organization, you must link your Manage Google Play account to Intu. Select Manage Google Play. Here you can rent Microsoft permissions to send information to Google and then launch Google to connect. Now that we've seen how to enroll different types of devices, let's look at how to create enrollment restrictions. Scroll down and select enrollment restrictions. You can create and manage enrollment restrictions that define what devices can enroll into management within tool. These are there are two types of restrictions. Device type restrictions define which platforms, versions, and management types can enroll. By default, on platforms are allowed. Device limit restrictions define how many devices each user can enroll. By default, the limit is 15 devices. So let's see how to change the setting for the device type restriction. First, select all users. Next, select edit to change the platform setting. Here you can specify the platform configuration restrictions that must be met for a device to enroll. Now that we have seen how to configure enrollment restrictions, let's look at how to create configuration book profiles. As part of a mobile device management solution, you can use configuration for files to complete different tasks, such as allowing or reventing access to Bluetooth, managing software updates, and more. And you can create profiles for different devices and platforms, and then use Intu to apply the profile to devices. Let's see how to create a new con configuration profile. First, select the platform for the user, and we'll select Windows 10 and later. Next, to once the available row files, we'll select administrator templates, and we will create it. Now that you have selected the platform and row file type, set. The first step is to add basic information about the profile. 
including a name and description. The next step is to configure the setting for the row files. Cloud-based administrator templates provide a simplified view of settings. With these templates, you can configure hundreds of settings for programs such as Internet Explorer, Microsoft Office, and more. Scroll down and select Window Components to edit the setting. Next, select Internet Explorer. For example, here are all the settings you can manage for Internet Explorer. Scroll up to continue. Next, select all settings. Here you can view and filter the entire list of settings instead of looking for settings in neat nested folders. So let's search for Office to filter the settings. Scroll down to select a setting from a filter list. Let's select Disable Password Catching to configure this setting. So to prevent users from storing password in Office uh, 2016 files, let's enable this policy. Select OK to save the setting. The third step is to configure scope tabs on this policy. You can use scope tabs to determine who can see what device objects in Intune. In this case, we won't add any scope tabs. Next, let's configure assignments. You can assign this as configuration row file to users in included groups and excluded groups. In this case, we'll assign it to unincluded group. Next, review and create the profile de de details. The profile is now created. Now let's see how to create a configuration profile to apply this restriction. First, select the platform. We'll select iOS, iPadOS device. Next, select the row file. And we will select the device restriction row files. Now we can configure the row file settings for iOS and iPadOS device restrictions. First, provide a name for the policy. Next, select and configure the desired device restrictions. Let's look at some of the settings available. Select General. Here you can configure general settings for devices enrolled in Intel. So for example, you can block users from using screen capture on devices. Uh, let's also block untrusted TOS certificate. Select OK to continue. And you can configure password settings. For example, you can require passwords for managed device. And you can also specify the password requirements. Let's say the minimum password length to eight characters. Scroll down to see more settings. Select cloud and storage. Here you can allow or prevent file backup to cloud and storage accounts and to configure encrypted backup for devices, set the toggle switch to require. Select OK to continue. Select OK again to complete the setting configuration. Now create a new configuration row file for device restrictions. Next, let's assign the profile to a group of users. Select Assignments. Next, select a group down arrow. You can choose to assign the profile to selected groups, all users and all devices, all devices or all users. In this case, we will assign the profile to selected groups. Next, let's select groups to include. Search for the group and select it. Now save the assignment. Now that we are assigned the device restriction configuration profiles, let's see how to create another type of configuration profile. 
you can create profiles to manage endpoint protection settings. Let's select Mac OS as the platform. Next, select endpoint protection as the profile. Select create. Now you can configure the endpoint protection profile settings for Mac OS devices. First, provide a name for the profile. Next, select the and configure the desired endpoint protection settings. Let's look at some of the settings available. Select file vault. Here you can enable file vault this encryption on devices that run Mac OS. Set the toggle switch to enable file vault. Next, type a message to notify users how to recover their personal recovery key. Select OK to continue. Next, select Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper lets you configure location users can download apps from. Let's block users from overriding the Gatekeeper setting. Next, select Firewall. To protect devices from unauthorized network access, enable Firewall. Now, create the policy. Select Create. Next, let's assign this profile to a group of users. Now that we have created configuration profiles, let's see how to create a compliant policy. To get started, select Devices. Next, select Compliant Policies. You can create compliant policies to block users and devices that don't meet requirements or to monitor the compliant status of devices in your organization. Let's create a policy. First, provide a name for this policy. Next, specify the platform. Next, configure the setting for this policy. Select Device Health. You can enforce Windows Health Attestation Service and Valuation Rules. Set the toggle switch to require Big Lock. Next, select Actions for Non Compliant. Here you can define the actions you want to perform when devices are non compliant. For some actions, you can also specify schedules and additional details. For example, the mark device non-compliant action is scheduled to occur immediately. To create a new action for non-compliant, select Add. Next, specify the action. And you can choose to send an email to a user, retire the device, or lock the device. In this case, we will send an email to the users. Next, close the flyout panes and create the policy. Next, let's assign this policy to a group of users. Now that we've configured a compliant policy, let's see how to use conditional access policies to write compliance at your organization. First, select devices. Select conditional access. Conditional access gives you granular control over which device and apps can connect to your email and community resources without compromising a great user experience. Conditional access in Intune is powered by Azure Active Directory to add device compliance and mobile app management capabilities. So let's create a new conditional access policy. First, provide name. Next, select the users and groups to assign to this policy. Next, let's specify the cloud apps this policy applies to. And you can select all cloud apps in your organization or specify apps. So in this case, we will select a specific group, specific apps.
will select Microsoft into. Next, let's define the conditions for this conditional access policy. And you can define conditions that get access to your corporate data based on signed risk, device platform, location, and more. For example, you can add a condition that requires the device platform to be enrolled. Next, let's specify the access controls to enforce for this policy. Let's require the device to be marked as compliant. Scroll down to enable the policies. Now create the policy. The policy was successfully created. Now the group of users we specify will need to have compliant port devices in order to access the Intune app for Android, which is the prerequisite for accessing protected company resource. Now let's see how to monitor device compliance. Select devices. Next, select monitor. Intune provides a rich set of capabilities that enable you to monitor the status and company for devices of your organization manage. Scroll down and select device action. Here you can review all management actions that have been performed on devices. Well, you just learn how to manage devices enrolled in the Intune service, enforcement compliance with policies and protect the data of the organization. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.